guys, it's Jackie. I wanted to come on here and do a candle haul and review for one candle. I will talk about a second candle, but you'll see why here in a moment. So just to let you know up front, I did pay full price for this candle. So that was $24.50. It has not hit the stores per se. It might be in the test market. Here south of Detroit, we're really not a test market. Some stores test different things. But I wanted to tell you about this because it did intrigue me. I was, I'm was i slightly interested in it. I wasn't sure at first, but then when I got my hands on it, I really do like it. And I will compare it to another candle that's similar yet different. So I hope you guys are doing good. Um, I hope everything is going well. If you work on Monday through Friday, we have one more day. I know it seems like I always say that. But what I'm talking about is this new candle from Bath & Body Works. So let's do a thumbnail. It's Coastal Watermelon. First of all, let's talk about the packaging. It literally looks like broken mosaic glass. So here is the packaging. It's a simple top, just silver. Um, it is a white barn. And the scent notes in here are juicy watermelon, a pinch of pink sea salt, ocean waves with essential oils. Now I did have somebody reach out to us um, here on YouTube and they were talking about essential oils not being good for cats and dogs. Um, I would just like to say that I don't burn them in closed rooms. Um, I have a lot of open space where my cat and dog are not necessarily like um, around those items. So I do appreciate the concern and I do understand I have done a lot of research in regards to essential oils and animals. So I just wanted to put that out there. I by no means trap my animals where they have to smell these or be around the essential oils. And I don't, you know, have like my wallflowers plugged in all the time. I unplug them, replug them in, you know, that sort of thing. So what really caught my attention is that on cold sniff, and speaking of animals, here comes one. <laughs> she always, I think she just likes me sitting here on the floor because then I'm like really within reach and then she can like sit near me and I scratch her. But on cold sniff, I thought this smelled a lot like watermelon lemonade. And I did bring down one of my other, um, it's a little dusty, my other watermelon lemonade. So the scent notes in watermelon lemonade is cool watermelon ice, sparkling water, and Meyer lemon. So the notes are very different. And cold, they smell very similar, but there's a pinch different in the coastal watermelon. And I only got one because I don't want to pay full price for candles and, you know, when we all know that they're going to go on sale and there's going to be coupons and stuff. So I am going to burn this um, prior to it hitting the market. But I wanted to let you guys know it's very, very different than watermelon lemonade. Um, oh, that's weird. This one is like the wax is cracking. I never noticed that. It's odd. But watermelon lemonade has, like, there's no lemon in the coastal watermelon, but the lemonade in here does smell just like, like, icy lemonade that you would get at a street fair. I know, like, in Michigan, we have a lot of street fairs in the summertime, and that's what watermelon lemonade reminds me of. It smells like that really sugar lemon drink that you can get on a really hot day, you know, when there's a street fair. And coastal watermelon is a little bit warmer. It has a warmer undertone. Um, and I don't know if that's the pinch of pink sea salt. I don't know if it's the salt. But it does smell like it has lemon in it, but there are no lemons in the note. Yeah, in the notes, I should say. This was poured on the 91st day of Jane, um, 2019. So I was really, really excited to try this. I am going to start burning it. I did pick up another berry waffle cone. Um, I just lit that tonight because I really, you know, I like to have two before I light them. And I will say I am excited about this new candle. Um, I know there are a lot of candles that are getting ready to hit. I've heard different things. Um, I don't know if they'll hit before Mother's Day. Some people say they might start on Monday. It just depends. And a, a couple of my friends said the floor sets don't come out. So they might not come out for Mother's Day. So it's just very interesting to hear like 
some of these are in the test markets like people can get them very readily and then others of us we can't get them i know uh california mom out in california she said that berry waffle cone was out it's not out in any of my stores that i have seen so far so i just wanted to tell you guys about this i was excited that it is at least a different candle i don't know if it's been out there before there were a couple of candles that i was very intrigued by but i will not pay full price i'll wait for them to go on sale you know before i do that plus i wasn't gonna buy anything so there goes that right you know i i think of a candle and i'm like well that doesn't count right this is for youtube but anyways i hope you guys are doing good it's a very short video because I'm only talking about one candle. If you have had this candle or you like it or you're interested in it, please tell us down below. And I hope you're doing good and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!